Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Science with me. Today we have another important topic which are vitamins. The vitamins are organic compounds and essential micronutrients which an organism needs in small quantities for the proper functioning of its metabolism. Here you can see these vitamins are essential micronutrients. These are organic compounds and essential for normal growth and nutrition. But these vitamins are required in small quantities in diet. As we all know, vitamins are essential micronutrients and the essential micronutrients cannot be synthesized in an organism. So they must be obtained through diet. On the basis of solubility, vitamins can be divided into two types, fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. The fat soluble vitamins absorb along with fats in the diet and are stored in body tissues and in liver. These can be dissolved in fats and oils. While the water soluble vitamins are those vitamins which can dissolve in water. In fat soluble vitamins we have four important vitamins vitamin A which is also called retinol, vitamin D which is also called calciferol, vitamin E tocopherol and the vitamin K phylloquinone. Whereas in water soluble vitamins we have two categories vitamin B complex and the vitamin C. The vitamin B complex further have different types while the vitamin C also known as ascorbic acid. We can easily memorize the fat soluble vitamins through this adic. Adic A stands for vitamin A, D stands for vitamin D, E stands for vitamin E and the K for vitamin K. So the fat soluble vitamins can easily be memorized through this adic word. Now, in water soluble vitamins, we can easily memorize the vitamin B complexes and the vitamin C. Now, first we have vitamin A, retinol. This vitamin A, which is also called retinol, is a fat soluble vitamin and is naturally produced or present in many foods. Vitamin A is important for normal vision, immune system, and reproduction also. Vitamin D, also referred as calciferol and is also a fat soluble vitamin. It is obtained from sun exposure and through many foods we can also get this vitamin D. It is essential for maintaining healthy bones and teeth. It may also protect against a range of diseases and conditions such as type 1 diabetes. Now vitamin E, tocopherol, another fat soluble vitamin with several forms but Alpha tocopherol is the only one used by the human body. This, this is very important point that vitamin E is present in many forms but alpha tocopherol is the only one which is used by the human body. Its main role is to act as an antioxidant. Now we have vitamin K, the last fat soluble vitamin which is also called phylloquinone. This fat soluble vitamin plays a key role in helping the blood clotting. Now we have water soluble vitamins. As we know water soluble vitamins are dissolved only in water and they generally not stored in the body. For this reason we need this water soluble vitamins regularly from our diet. And these vitamin B complexes are very essential and their deficiency may cause many severe diseases in our body. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, it is a powerful antioxidant and it maintains the connective tissue. The main source of vitamin C are fruits and vegetables. Now we have vitamin B1, the vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. This is most of the B complexes, all the B complexes serves as coenzyme in our body. This is a very important point that all the B complexes serves as coenzyme in our body and we discussed in the enzyme lecture that coenzymes are the agents which help the enzymes to perform the reaction in a very fast way. So vitamin B1 serves as a coenzyme in the body. Vitamin B2 riboflavin also acts as coenzyme. 
and it help the enzyme in various chemical reactions next we have vitamin b3 all dietary form of niacin vitamin b3 also known as niacin so all the dietary form of niacin are eventually converted into nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate which acts as coenzyme so this niacin or itself cannot be used it has to be converted into nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate which acts as a coenzyme one of its important function the important function of vitamin b3 in our body is it help in glycolysis now pantothenic acid or vitamin b5 this pantothenic acid is required in the formation of coenzyme a now vitamin b6 pyridoxin this pyridoxin involved in blood cell formation and vitamin b7 also function as coenzyme and required for function of 5 carboxylases next we have vitamin b9 vitamin b9 which is also called folic acid this folic acid or vitamin b9 perform a vital role in the formation of dna and this folic acid or vitamin b9 first discovered in yeast and in last we have cobalamin vitamin b12 same as all vitamin vitamin b12 function as coenzyme in our body and plays a vital role in maintaining neurological functions and red blood cells formation so this is all about the vitamins in our next lecture we will discuss the all these vitamins in detail i hope you understand this lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel learn science with me press the bell icon so you will get the notification of my new videos which will be very informative for you thanks for watching